Okay, so welcome back everyone. Today we're going to implement Socialite and you know we're going to integrate these three services so Google, GitHub and Facebook and for Google we're going to go to this link here which I will leave in the description and then we're going to take a look at the API console um, and enable our services. So I want to go into social if I can find it all right, uh, Google Plus, and then we're going to enable that, create a project. It doesn't matter how you call this, I mean, it just depends on what kind of project you're doing, really. I'm going to create that. All right, so that has created the project for me. I'm now in it, as you can see, and I'm going to enable the API. Cool, my API is enabled, so all I have to do now is create credentials. Uh, Google Plus API, I'm going to be using a web server. Access user data. Name, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I think. Authorized redirect URL, this is important. So for me, this is going to be jwauth.test.com slash um, login slash google slash callback all right um, product name shown to users is going to be date of the auth all right that's it um, i'll download this and then i'll click done i'm going to click in here and i can see the credentials in here as well so that's it for the Google, um, for the Google, um, you know, enabling the API and setting in the credentials up. For GitHub, it's also really easy. You're just gonna go into settings when you're logged in, uh, developer settings. Then you click new o, um, new app. I'm gonna name this JWT auth. The homepage URL is gonna be JWT auth.test.com for me. Then I'm gonna say the same thing. So it's gonna be a login, GitHub, callback. And I think I made a typo actually, this has to be slash API. So I need to change this as well. All right, has it, mm, need to remove the other one apparently. API slash login slash Google slash callback. All right, cool, that has saved. Um, same with GitHub. All right, so it has created the app for us. And with Facebook, it's, you know, I'm not gonna show the entire process right now, but um, you should be able to Google that stuff. And when you create an app, you get into this dashboard. And you just wanna add the Facebook login product. So you can do that by uh, this plus icon, and then um, there is a login, um, you know, functionality somewhere product and then you click in the in the Facebook login and you set it up by in, in the settings you say this redirect URL which is the same as the other ones with you know the Google swapped out for Facebook so that's that now we can go into our you know our code editor but first what I want to show you is how we're how I got this oh, how I got this HTTPS auth.test.com because I don't remember exactly, but I think Google needs a top level domain. So .com or .org or something like that, a top level domain. And Facebook wants HTTPS and GitHub, you know, GitHub is nice and they don't really care. So to get that, you for HTTPS, you wanna go into preferences and then you want to go into services and ports and really easily just click this box enabled and then you have SSL. Now for getting the top level domain that's a little bit more difficult but you can go into Laragon, uh, ETC, Apache, sites enabled and then you should see your um, config for your domains right here and I'm going to go into jwauth.test and once you edit that you basically copy this down and you edit under the 443 port and what you then uh, actually it should already be in here because you enabled 
HTTPS, but what you then do really easily is server alias, you just add this domain which you want here, so jwauth.com and you do the same for the SSL one. Then you restart your server and it's all done. So if I now go to jwauth.test.com it's going to give me this warning but I should be able to click through. All right, there we are. So it just says the, the hello message like normal. All right, so now for adding in Socialite, we're going to go back to www and then to JWT off. I'm going to git bash here. Then I'm going to just require in the package composer require Laravel slash social, socialite like that. All right, excuse me, I made a typo. So like this. All right, so we got an installation failed, and let's just see why that is. I think we need to upgrade our Laravel version to 5.7. Um, 5.7. And then run Composer update, and then we'll wait for this to finish. All right, so that has updated our Laravel version to 5.7, and we should now be able to install the Socialite package. All right, cool, that has installed. So now we can move on to actually implementing this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going into my env file, and I'm just going to, you know, add these details in, which we just got from signing up in the um, with the development accounts. So we're going to have a client secret and a redirect URL. Copy this a few times. This is gonna be Google. It's gonna be Facebook. All right, and then we're gonna put these into the MV file. So the GitHub client ID will get from this page. So the client ID is here. The client secret is here as well. Then we're gonna fill in this, jwtauth.test.com slash API slash login slash GitHub callback. Fill in these others, Google and Facebook. So Google has our client ID here. So this is the client ID, this long thing. And this is the client secret. For Facebook, it's in the settings and then basic. So we need app ID in this case. And then app secret is our client secret. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then we're gonna go into config and then services. And this is where we're going to define our services. So later our app is going to look here and if it finds a entry for one of these services, it's going to allow you to log in with them. So client ID is going to be env github client ID. GitHub client redirect URL, GitHub client secret. And we want to do the same for Google and Facebook. And for Google, all right, so that's all the really boring stuff out of the way. Now we can look at creating a middleware, which is actually going to check if we have that service enabled. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a middleware for that, the social middleware. So that is going to live in middleware 
actually we can create that with the command line php artisan make middleware social middleware that has created the middleware for us so now what we can do is we can just define out some services which socialite accepts facebook twitter linkedin google github gitlab and bitbucket so enabled services so this is an array which is going to have our enabled services and then we're just going to loop through the services and say if config services dot service then enable services we're going to push to the array with the current service so that is now going to have uh, our enabled services in here so Facebook Google and github uh, and then we're going to just run our simple check if not in array string to lower request service enable services and then we're going to check does this request only accept JSON and then we're going to respond with the JSON response and otherwise we're going to just redirect the user all right so in this response we're just going to say return response JSON success false and a message invalid social service so status code 403 unauthorized and that should be our middleware so now what we want to do uh, in our kernel we're gonna just register this middleware we're gonna just define it here so social is gonna be app http middleware social middleware and that is that so next thing we want to do is start creating with start creating a controller api auth and then i want to create a social login controller here all right um, so I guess we also need to define some routes later on but we'll do that in a second app HTTP controllers API slash auth gonna use our base controller and then class social login controller extends controller and then what we want to do so I first of all want to just create two functions the first of all is going to be redirect and the other one is going to be called callback and I'll fill these in later but first of all I want to just register the routes so I'm going to go into api.php and in here or actually in the login of course so we want login slash service slash get login service. It's going to be a parameter. I'm going to go into social login controller and redirect. I'm going to copy this down. This is going to go to the callback function. And then this is going to have the callback. Um, thing in the URL of course so now what we need to do is we need to instantiate a new socialite uh, redirect in here and we need to of course have our auth thing enabled but I'll first just do this return socialite uh, driver service 
we're going to receive in here. And then we're going to redirect. And I think we also need to say stateless. So if I now go to API login GitHub. All right. API login service. Oh yeah, auth. API slash auth. All right, so I need to change this uh, redirect URL then. API slash auth. And here as well. All right. And then in my ENV file as well, API slash auth, API slash auth. And once more. All right. So now if I authorize this, um, this is obviously, is this going to the right URL? I don't think so. API slash auth. Callback does not exist. Oh, I made a typo there. So it has a callback. All right, so I made a typo there, but we can now get the user and just dump it out. So again, gonna receive a service in here. And then all I have to do, is say service user, equals socialite driver service. I'm gonna grab that user and then I'm just gonna dump this out. So if I refresh this, oh, I should say stateless again. Because we don't really need sessions bind to this login thing. All right, there we are, this is my token, my email, and my user information, essentially. So now let's try another one. Let's try Google. All right, so I messed up the URI mismatch, I think. Apparently it did not save it, I think. Let's check. All right, let's try again. All right, this one is now unauthorized, of course, because it's already used. Google, I can log in. All right, so that works. All right, there we yeah, are. This Google logged in. Token, my email, awtest.com. My user information, Facebook. essentially. So now let's try and that one also works. Another one, let's try Google, gwdrtest.com, and let's try a service that we don't have. So let's say GitLab, and then it redirects argument one pass to, all right. Oh yeah, so we, of course, we didn't actually tell the controller to use this. So let's fix that up right now. This middleware, and then I'm just gonna, you know, only have one middleware, I guess, social. So GitLab, and then it's going to redirect us back to this page. Uh, so I think that's it. I think that's everyone for every, everything for this first episode. We set up all these services, and we can actually log in with it and view the user information that you know we get from that service. So in the next episode, we'll look at actually returning a token and everything like that. Um, yeah, and then. Obviously, and we're going to look at integrating this into Nuxt in the future. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.